Well, I, I think we broke down their foul shots the day after the Mammoth loss, and we were in the film room. And it, it makes me feel good that we went to the foul line. We didn't maybe the, our number seventy five percent. We were at sixty seven. It's not the number I want, but it, it's better than fifty two. You know, if you if you make if you make sixty seven against Quinnipiac, you win the game by seven. If you make sixty seven, you're you're you have four more wins. So right now we're getting better, and that's the whole approach that we're having. Well, it, it, it was, but the ball hit the paint first, and that was our whole thing. To, to, for us to free our shooters, we have to get the ball on the block or in the paint off a drive, and we did that a couple times. And then you get them chasing you, and we have guys ready to shoot. And that's one of the big things is, and we've stressed this all week, is open shots are good shots. Guarded shots with 22 on the shot clock aren't good shots. We shot... 72% in the second half. For us, that's a correlation of just getting open shots. Uh, I like to say either open shots or layups. And that's what we're sort of really, really focusing on. But I would be remiss to, to say to you, you know, one guy on our team that I went in the locker room I, I addressed first was Joe Zaglinski. And the reason is there's three college basketball players in the country, in the country, that have played 100 games an average 15 points. Kyle Singler from Duke is going to be the National Player of the Year. Tyler Battle, who's the preseason player of the year in the Big Ten, and Joe Zaglinski. They've averaged, played 100 games, and tonight, you could see their whole scheme was double team him, double team him. And he has the right to go hunt shots, because he, when you have done what he's done, you have the right. He didn't do that. He wasn't selfish. And that, to me, was why I addressed him first, is I expect Morgan Savia to get 25 a night. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, that's, you know, when I first saw him at Drake High School in Northern California, you know, you have to really believe in guys. And I really believe in Norton. And I, that's my biggest challenge is, you know, if Morgan had grown up next door to me, he, he would have walked down the street every day and he would have me saying to him, you're the greatest. You're the greatest. But he's got to have that. He's got to tell himself that. And not in a cocky way, but in a confident way. And I was also proud of Milton. You know, he bounced back. I thought he was a little rusty in the first half, but I'm I'm just really, really proud of the group. Like someone said to me, uh, "You're two and ten. What do you think?" I said, "We practice like we're ten and two. So I can't. I have no. I have no like nothing negative. And and you know, Randy Bennett, head coach at St. Mary's, he called me. And just you know." It, I have guys, certain guys in the business call me saying, keep your head up, keep your head up. And I just appreciate that. Well, it, it also, it's a seven, it's a six hour, seven hour ride to Maine, to Arno. So it would have been a hard bus ride, you know, but it's a good bus ride, but it's, it's now it's, it, it gives us an idea to be very frank that we're a good basketball team. That St. Francis team and Glenn, their, their head coach, he's done a phenomenal job. They're seven and five. They played really, really well. They won, they won five straight. You got to tip their hat to them. So I understood that they're really, really a good team. So it was a good win for us. Uh, I don't know. It's, the coaches have been telling me from day one they have all the confidence in the world in me, and I know my teammates have confidence in me. So when they find me open, I try to reward them with uh, scoring the basketball. Uh, I was looking for a three because at the end of the first half, when I shot the ball, they contested it pretty well. So I remember for that they were going to jump, so I just gave them a little pump fake and sidestepped, and I knew it was going in as soon as I left my hand. Uh, rebounding the ball has been a big emphasis in practice over the last few days, and I just had a knack for going after the ball tonight, and i got to keep that up for the rest of the year. Oh, it's a huge one. It's the last non-conference schedule. It's a big win going into conference. Get a little, maybe we can get a little run going and make a make this conference. Uh, yeah, everybody's all smiles right now, but we're all ready to go back, get back to work, and get better. Everybody's eager to go play Maine.